And it's time now for our National Coney Island High School Hockey Player of the Year update. So, Sean, did you go to Coney Island at all during the break? Oh, of course. Yeah, I, I have a really good feeling that I'm going to blow right out of here and go get one with extra on these, too. Absolutely. And you can cast your vote at statechampsnetwork.com. Sean, does our top 10 stay the same this week? Yeah, it's going to stay the same. But you know what's interesting is, especially over the holiday, I, I had a chance to talk to a lot of the guys. Uh, there are some names out there that, that you have to be cognizant of. I think Mason Kelly, let's start on the west side. He was on our list. He's off to a great start. Uh, it's only going to get better now that Cole Beaufet, uh you know, is is back with Forest Hill Central. We mentioned it earlier. A couple guys with Howell to keep an eye on. Franti's a a forward that he's been on the radar for a couple of years, but he's playing well right now. Uh, a defender as well in in Rossi. And you know, we talk so much about JJ Bamberger and the great job he's done with Saginaw Heritage. They've just produced so many good players. Uh, Brady Rapoon is a, a young man that uh, certainly one to keep an eye on. So. A lot of guys are kind of knocking on the door, but right now, uh, from the guys that I talked to, we're going to keep this the same one more week. I'm sure some changes will happen. All right, quickly, Sean, uh, we saw Jake Onstott and Seth Loss in our highlights this week. What do you like about both players? Well, you know what's interesting? I think with Jake Onstott, you know, this is a guy that last year, there were a lot of guys on our committee that were saying he was the best defender in the state last year. He's moved up to four. I, I think, if anything, that makes his game that much more important to show that versatility. And, and Seth Loss is a guy that that y- you've seen him do this in his career, and so many guys talking up his game. And maybe in the past he hasn't been rewarded from a statistical standpoint. And sometimes statistics don't tell the whole story on how good a, a guy is playing. But when you score a shorthanded hat trick, everybody's going to open their eyes then. All right, remember, you can cast your vote at statechampsnetwork.com. The leading vote getter will automatically get into the Final Four. As of right now, Joey Cremier from Trent has over 10,000 votes. Hockey's pretty big downriver. I've heard a rumor. Is that is that true? Me being in Trent, I think that's true. It's a, it's a great thing. So props to all you guys. And that was your High School Hockey Player of the Year update presented by National Coney Island.